We are North Carolina, and we ain't going nowhere. You know, one of the one of the real great paradoxes of North Carolina labor history is that it's had one of the highest numbers of people involved in manufacturing. It's also had the lowest rate of unionization of union membership. But on the other hand, uh, and the, here's the paradox, is that North Carolina has also been the scene of some of the most significant labor struggles in American history. Almost half of minimum wage workers are in the South, and it is crucial that we organize workers in the South if we want economic justice in this nation. We, we, we don't want handouts, we, we, we don't want welfare, we don't want food stamps, we want a fair day's pay for a fair day of work. That's all we want. <laughs> Whenever people stand up for their own dignity and inspire other people to stand with them, it makes that city, it makes that state, and it makes that nation a better place. His hands keep lifting America. Por eso, aquí estaré yo apoyando a todos ustedes, porque como dije, yo pienso que tanto en el campo como en la comida rápida, Son, somos uno mismo y yo pienso que todos tenemos que apoyarnos uno al otro para poder lograr esto que estamos queriendo lograr. So the message goes out to the takers. Stop taking from people who are willing to stand on their own two feet like brothers and sisters who are willing to work. So I think the, the South today and the new struggles of workers, whether it's in the fast food industries, processing plants, you know, whether it's in uh, any of the new industries that are beginning to develop, the organization of those workers and their ability to reach across uh, ethnic lines, racial lines, I think is going to be uh, determinant of where America is going to go in the, in the next century. If we want to fight inequality, we must fight for workers' right to organize and collectively bargain. <laughs>